Let's take a look at Canva, the browser-based editing software with tons of templates. What's cracking, everyone? My name is Matt Kraken, and I'm a graphic designer that streams on Twitch and creates YouTube tutorials for content creators. For a while now, I've been wanting to check out Canva, and if you don't know what Canva is, then that's totally okay. Because in this tutorial, I have literally five minutes of experience inside of the software. I wanted to make this video from the point of view of an experienced graphic designer going into Canva for the very first time. And spoiler alert, I really enjoyed it, and I can see myself recommending this to anyone trying to grow or build a brand that has zero or very little experience inside of editing software. With programs like Adobe or Affinity, there is a high ceiling of skill level involved and it can take years to master the techniques involved in graphic design or video production to be comfortable to start editing on your own. With Canva, it pretty much takes the high skill level out of the equation for the most part. What makes Canva so powerful is the loads of templates and pre-made assets built within the software. In no way is Canva made to be compared to or outperform uh, any industry standard leading editing software. It's actually lacking a lot of tools that a lot of professionals use on a daily basis. But I think Canva is a very powerful tool for businesses or streamers or content creators trying to grow their brand. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. In today's video, we're gonna start by making some Twitch panels. And eventually in the future, we'll go on to bigger and better and harder things to do. But for now, we're gonna start with some Twitch panels. Feel free to follow along if you're someone who is in need of some new clean looking Twitch panels, or you wanna join me in seeing what it's like to use Canva for the very first time. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we are at canva.com and Canva is, like I said, it's pretty much just a graphic design editor within a browser. So I signed up for a free trial account. It was super simple. I think it's like $12.99 a month or something like that, which it's not terrible. You can get things like Affinity, which I highly recommend. Instead of paying $12.99 a month, you pay 25 bucks right now. At the time of me filming this video, you can get Affinity Designer, which is an amazing piece of software. For $25. 50% off. Normally it's 50 bucks. If you want to sign up for a free month and you really like this, there's some really good benefits to this little browser editor. I went through it for a little bit. I have no experience in this. I'm going in blind. I've never really used this before. I played around with it. Like I wanted to go, kind of go into this video just, just not knowing what I'm doing and just kind of showing you guys how easy it is and how effective it is. I've seen other uh, people create call to actions and marketing assets and social media assets inside of Canva. So I said, hey, you know what? Let's make a video, see where we go. So yeah, let's get into it and uh, and see what we can do. So let's see if we can make some Twitch panels right now. Okay, so uh, first thing I want to do, um, let's see here. So they said design anything for your presentation, social media, video, more. Uh, I'm looking for maybe um, something like desktop wallpaper graph. Uh, let's just hit create design and see infographic that's 800 uh, flyer let's just start with flyer okay so sizing of this is all wrong so um, looks like we want to uh, resize right here we want to resize this image we're in inches we want to be in pixels so um, twitch panels are 320 pixels wide we know that and you could do you could do them pretty um, pretty tall, but we're not in this case. I usually do mine at 320 by 100. So let's do resize, okay? And that's looking like a proper uh, Twitch panel size right there. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm liking it. This is cool. So let's just gonna go through here and see. Okay, so you know they got some photos in here that I'm sure you can just you know use or whatever okay delete key works for deleting that's nice all right some nice cityscape stuff like that okay so elements looks like we got some basic shapes which is great fantastic okay um nothing really here that we're gonna use but it's good to keep in mind okay so add a heading um just seeing where we're at okay twitter yes we are gonna add some text later which will look like that okay um styles styles looks like some color palettes here audio they even have audio which i'm sure is all royalty free uh, videos wow okay yeah this is pretty cool backgrounds oh look at this this might actually be useful for what we're doing um you know looks like they got some textures in here this is great this is good stuff 
Um, this might even be beneficial for you when you're making your panels. I've seen some people use like, you know, some galaxy images and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure how layers work in here yet. Like I said, I'm just, I'm going into this not knowing anything. So we'll see what happens. I figured I'll start making some videos on Canva if you guys like them and we'll get more complex as we go. Eventually we'll make some videos. Who knows? Let's see. All right. So first thing I'm going to start off with is elements. So where's the basic shapes here? Okay. So here's just a basic square. All right. So we are going to make this a hundred by a hundred. Perfect. Okay. And then um, usually we use, uh, whoops, usually we use another square. Uh, we could do something like this. Um, boom, boom. Um, yeah, so we got two basic squares. Let's kind of just see where this goes. All right, so what I want to do is let's make this square here. Like I said, we are going to do a Twitter one. So let's do blue on the square and white on the rectangle. Uh, I think that might look pretty cool. So I want to change the color of these, um, uh, which is, uh, here we go right here. Perfect. Okay. So, oh, also, uh, uploads. I was able to upload a Twitch icon earlier. Um, so yeah, so I know I had to make sure for, that you can upload your own media before I started any of this. And yes, you can, which is great. Okay. So back to elements and changing the color right here new color and um i happen to know the color code i think for twitter which is zero zero a c e e now we want to do this one white and if you watch my videos you know i don't like to use uh pure whites or pure black so what i do is i'll go into here and i will do i like to use ef 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 or another one i like to use is e2 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 that's a little bit more gray. I actually kind of like that. It actually stands out a little bit more and a little bit easier to see on, on the white. So, okay. So we got our icon here, right? So now you need a Twitter logo. And what a lot of people do, they'll go to Google and they'll type in, you know, uh, Twitter logo, bam. And it's like, okay, you got all these and you're like, okay, I need a transparent one. And it's not always transparent. You know, it's got this checkerboard pattern, which means it's transparent, but when you download it, it's actually a checkerboard pattern. No, that's not good. All right. So what you want to do, what I like to use is flat icon. And then in the search bar, we're going to go Twitter. All right. And there's our Twitter logo right there. We want to download a PNG. Perfect. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go to uploads upload media and device and we're going to choose that twitter icon and beautiful let's make sure that's the same blue that is the same blue let's do this i actually kind of like we made like a happy little mistake here right okay so i want to flip flop these colors because i like the way this blue looks on this grayish white color okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into here i'm going to do that i'm going to go here i'm going to do that bam that was easy super easy okay now we're going to take this twitter icon and we're gonna go right there um, is there like an alignment tool uh, anywhere uh, I mean our okay that's centered right there okay perfect okay and now we just need some text so Twitter make that I actually like that font okay so let's take this and we will line it up and Throw it right there in the middle. Let's change the color. There we go. Hey, that looks good. That looks. I'm not even mad. That's good. That's great. That looks clean, simple. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, let's let's just let's just see what's going on here. So we got our background here. And there's like kind of like this white separating line, and sometimes I use like I'll make that transparent. If you watch my other videos in the past where I make. A bunch of different uh, Twitch panels on in Affinity. I kind of use like a transparent line there. So let's see if that will export as transparent. Let's just see what happens really quick when I hit download. I've never exported anything off here before. So uh, PNG suggested size. Yes. 320 by one. Oh, look at that. You can even multiply the size. So sometimes it's good to multiply your, your sizes by two. That way, when you look at it on the computer, I'll give you an example here. So here's one uh, transparent background. Boom. Uh, compress file. No, we don't want to compress the file because 
it's already going to be compressed heavily um, when it's uploaded to Twitch. So let's let's just download. Let's see what happens. Uh, discovered Power Pro. Set up my brand. We don't need to do any of this right now. All right, let's take a look at it. Boom. There we go. That is a panel made in Canva. Moving on. Let's move on here real quick. Okay. Oh, well, I was going to show you an example. So um, where, where did that go? It probably went right here to our downloads. So if we look at this in our downloads, there it is right there. It's small, right? You know, um, I, if you wanted to zoom into this, if you wanted to zoom into this, it's, it's going to be pixelated, right? Sometimes what I recommend people doing, especially if they're working in Photoshop, if something is 320 pixels wide, let's double it. Let's do 640 pixels wide. Unless you're working in vector with like illustrator or affinity designer, you don't really need to do that. But it looks like this is already working in some sort of vector base. I'm not sure how they do this. I'll have to look into that, but it's not pixelating anything when you zoom in. So when we hit download, we're going to actually bump that up to let's do three. Let's bump it all the way up to three and download that. And I'll show you guys now it's this large. We didn't do a transparent background, but that's, that's okay. Um, but now it's nice and big. And when we put that in Twitch, it's still going to bring it down to 320 pixels. It's still going to adjust it properly. So that's awesome. That's perfect. This was really good. Let's do another one. Um, let's do the same design style. So I wonder if I could actually control C, control V. Okay, perfect. I can. Uh, whoops. Control Z. Okay, all the keyboard shortcuts work. I'm loving this. I I'm hooked already. Like, I, I actually really enjoy this. So control C. Control V and we're going to let's do let's do a YouTube one. OK, let's do YouTube and then we're going to change this uh, blue color to uh, YouTube's red, which I believe is just a standard red. That doesn't look the same, but let's uh, FF FF 0000 is YouTube's red. There we go. OK, and wow, that's bright. OK, um, now let's go back here to our flat icon and look for YouTube. Here we go. Um, now that's looking like the one we want right there. So PNG, free download. Yes, bada bing, bada boom. We'll go back into over here. This is super easy. I'm actually really enjoying it more than I thought I would. And I might, I might start using this for some random things. Who knows? Uh, I've been wanting to try this for a while and, I, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Okay. So you got a fan out of me, Canva, for sure. So, all right, let's upload from the device. Let's go to our downloads here. Um, view, actual large icons. So open. Okay, perfect. Um, and let's drop our YouTube icon in there. All right. So ooh, this doesn't look centered either. Yeah, that's good. All right. YouTube, Twitter. Can we? Oh, here we go. 100% there. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. We got like this whole artboard here thing. This looks really good. Okay. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Uh, these panels look great. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a discord one, a gilded one, a rules one. I'm going to make all the Twitch panels I can think of. I'm going to put these up on my gilded server for you guys to download. Um, but I really encourage you guys also to come in here and mess with some things. I did want to try something else. So I like to use kind of these rounded, these rounded squares. And I, I see people doing it often and it seems like this is going to be pretty easy. So if we go to shapes, see all yes, right here. Okay, perfect. This we want to be a hundred by a <clears> hundred. <throat> Okay, now I'm going to make this one, this color right here, and then we're going to make, uh, let's do control C, control V. Okay, so now we're going to bring that to the edge and we're going to go boop right there. Okay, now we want to change that. We still have that color code, which is this FC5400 paste gotcha okay 
Now, where's our gilded logo? Add text. Actually, let's just copy this. And then let's look at our other text options as well, or our other font options as well. Um, so yeah, this white and yellow, they don't really contrast that well anyway. So I'm gonna find, what is the color code there? It's like a dark blue, black color. It's definitely something, something dark. So let's open that up. Color code is added. Now we want to change the color there. Oh, look, looks like it automatically did it. Okay. That's obviously it's not uh, YouTube, but it is gilded. There we go. Okay. Now let's download this. Make sure we do, let's do at two times. Transparent background download. It's so easy to download stuff too. Oh, this downloaded all of them. So it gives you a zip folder. This is freaking awesome. Now we got a zip folder with all three of these very good looking Twitch panels. I mean, awesome looking Twitch panels. Let me know which ones you guys like better. Do you guys like this rounded one? Do you guys like the square ones? Kind of like the square ones, to be honest. Um, so I think I'm going to make these. I'm going to make a few of them. I'm going to put them on the Gilded server. But once again, I do encourage you guys to go in here, go into Canva. If you don't have any sort of editing software or editing experience, that was super easy. I, I'm not kidding you when I say that I just winged this video. I just threw it together. So, but panels are easy to make. So let's plan on making some harder stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. Maybe some call to actions, maybe some banners, maybe, I don't know. Shoot, send me your logo. We'll make some banners. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm really enjoying this. There are so many uses for this, you know, YouTube intros, I'm sure, you know, let's, let's figure it out. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Peace.